My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a super easy, beautiful crochet baby blanket. I found this pattern off of Pattern Paradise Crochet by Maria. Um, Maria is a crochet pattern creator and she is very talented. She makes gorgeous patterns on her website. She actually has a couple different baby blanket patterns that I've already identified. I can't wait to crochet with you. I just want to support Maria, bring her up, uh, bring, traffic to her website, really show her some love because she is a very, a very talented woman and just want to make sure more, more and more people know who she is and what she has to offer. Um, this pattern she created, she calls the Essentials Baby Blanket. Uh, I added onto the name and call it the Essentials Baby Blanket Sleepy Baby just because I use a different color palette that has a very calming color palette for sleepy baby. <laughs> I've actually made this blanket three different times. The first one was a baby gift that I made for a friend. Here's a picture of it right here. Uh, apparently Big Brother kept stealing the baby blanket, so I made Big Brother a blanket also in Paw Patrol colors. Uh, the firefighter Dalmatian one. What's his name? Help me out. So I have a picture of some of the color variations that I was thinking in my head, how I could make the blanket. I forgot to take a picture of the actual blanket itself. That was my bad, but you get an idea of how my brain was working on how I wanted the blanket to look. So this is the third time I've made this blanket. It's super easy, super fast. Uh, the pattern for this blanket if you go right under this video, click the down arrow and open up my notes section. Underneath patterns, I have a link to Maria's website that will take you directly to this pattern. So all you have to do is click the link and if you scroll down, it will take you to the free version of the pattern. There is an option where you can purchase an ad free version. So if you want to just have the pattern able to print out or look at that doesn't have any ads in it, you can purchase that from her and just go right into it. Or you can just print off the web page and print the free version of this pattern, but it will have little inserts of ads and gobbledygook in the website or on the page that will kind of get in the way, but we can get past that. Okay. It's free. <laughs> if it's free, you can deal with some ads. Gotcha. Um, her version of the pattern she is making, she specifies that her blanket is 36 inches by 36 inches. She is making a perfect square receiving blanket. Okay, I wanted to make a blanket bigger than that, so I am making a crib size blanket. So when I am explaining how to make these blankets, the foundation row, I will identify, okay, if you wanna make the pattern that Maria has, the receiving blanket, you will chain this many. If you wanna make the crib size blanket that I made that's bigger, you will start your foundation row chaining this many. If you wanna make an even bigger blanket than this, maybe you wanna make a blanket for yourself to cuddle up on the couch with, uh, you can just check out the link that says charts or chart and it will open up a list of different blankets and their dimensions. So all you have to do is start your foundation row with a measuring tape and it'll say, for example, if you wanna make a queen size blanket, it's gonna be a big one, <laughs> but it'll say you, it needs to be this many inches wide. So you will chain, chain, chain until you your chain foundation row has reached however many inches wide a queen blanket requires it to be. Make sense? If you have any questions about making a bigger blanket or reading that chart, just feel free to contact me and my contact information below in the notes section. I would love to help. Okay, other than that, let's go ahead and dive into the materials that you're gonna need to make this blanket. All right, the materials that I used to make the, blank, uh, the crib size blanket, this blanket, I chose to use a uh, Lion Brand Mandala Sparkle in the color Orion. If you want to use the exact same yarn that I was using, I put in the note section below under materials a link to this exact yarn that you can purchase yarn from that link or just look at the link and then purchase the yarn somewhere else. I don't mind. I don't really care. Just uh, if you want to use what I'm using, that's just a helpful little thing that I provided for you. Um, you can use really any yarn that you want for this pattern as long as it's not textured. This was a size three yarn. 
I used eight skeins of this or a total of 2,624 yards of yarn or 2,400 meters of yarn. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how much yarn I used of a size three. Um, if you use a size four or a size two or a size five, you're gonna use either more or less yarn than what I used, but uh, it gives you just a rough idea. If you want, I have also included a chart in the notes section that gives you an idea of how much yarn you will need to make a basic baby blanket or Afghan size blanket and it has two charts. One chart will say a brand and how much yarn you will need and the other chart will say um, the size of yarn whether it's a three, four, five, two and how much yarn you will need to make that blanket. Those are super helpful. I love those charts and they just help give you direction. Just a reminder though that it's a rough estimate. You may need to buy one extra skein of yarn. Okay, <laughs> so just use the crochet hook that you uh, have recommended on your yarn label. The recommended crochet hook on this label was an H8 five millimeter crochet hook. And that's what I used, that's what I got here. Uh, you'll need a pair of scissors and possibly a measuring tape, depending on whether or not you want to alter the size of your blanket. Okay, and that's it, that's all you need for this blanket. Let's go ahead and dive right into how to make it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start with our slip knot to get the yarn on our crochet hook. Great. Check that tension. Make sure it's nice and smooth on your crochet hook. Okay, if you want to follow along with Maria and make a receiving size blanket that is 36 inches by 36 inches, you're going to chain 75. Okay, 75 chains. If you want to crochet the crib size blanket, kind of like I did, you're gonna start with chaining 141 chains. Uh, if you wanna deviate and make your own size, you just have to make a blanket foundation row in increments of two. So it has to be divisible by two, okay? So let's go ahead and start with our foundation row, either making 75 chains or 141 chains or whichever deviation you wanna make. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I stopped at chain 30, which is still divisible by two or in increments of two, so it'll work. I wanted to just make a small example swatch for you so you could see how to begin this blanket, how to work the pattern, and how to end this blanket all within this same video. <laughs> so we are going to turn your crochet hook. This was the foundation chain. We're gonna start with row one. So with row one, you're going to put one half double crochet in the third chain from your hook, okay? So one, two, three. We are not including the loop that's already on our hook. You're going to yarn over, insert your crochet hook with two loops on the top, one loop on the bottom, right like there. So you got two on the top there, one on the bottom, yarn over, pull through. So now you have three loops on your crochet hook. Gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops. That is a half double crochet, okay? The three chains that we skipped, one would be our turning chain to get over to row one, and the other two count as the very first half double crochet, okay? Just wanted to identify that this right here is going to be identified as half double crochet number one. Okay, next space, you're going to put a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your crochet hook, with two on the top, one on the bottom, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. There's your next half double crochet. Row one of this blanket is just putting one half double crochet in each chain all the way to the end, okay? So go ahead and finish row one and I will meet you at the end.
right last space one last half double crochet right there perfect okay you're going to chain one chain one going to turn our work all right you're going to put one half double crochet in the first space so yarn over insert our crochet hook right in the side there so that there's two loops on the top yarn over pull through got the three loops on our crochet hook now yarn over pull through all three perfect okay we're going to skip one space so we're going to skip you go straight into the next space we're going to put one single crochet so one single crochet and then in that same spot we're going to put a half double crochet so yarn over insert in that same spot yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three great we're going to skip the next spot in this spot we're going to put a single crochet and a half double crochet in that same spot. All right, skip the next one. Next space, single crochet and half double crochet, same spot. And that's gonna be the repeating pattern, guys. So skip one, next one, single crochet, half double crochet, same spot. Skip one, next one, single crochet, half double crochet, same spot. Again, skip one, next one, single crochet, half double crochet, same spot. And that's the repeating pattern. Go ahead and keep working that all the way across to the end. So skip one, next one, single crochet half double crochet in the same spot All right, we get to this point where there's just one space left, guys. You just put one half double crochet in that space right there. The last space of the row gets one half double crochet. You chain one, you turn, and repeat that same pattern. So every time you turn a row, you're only gonna chain one, okay? Only chain one. Then we turn our work. The very first space, the very first stitch will always be a half double crochet, only one half double crochet. That's it. Then you'll skip a space. The next space will be single crochet, half double crochet in the same spot. Then skip a space. Next space will be single crochet, half double crochet same spot skip one next one single crochet half double crochet in the same spot skip one next one single crochet half double crochet same spot and you just keep going guys keep going and then the very last space of your row will always be, the very last space will always be one half double crochet. So go ahead and finish this row three and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, last space, it's one half double crochet. Perfect. All right, guys. So that is the repeating pattern. Every row, once you finish it, you will chain one, only one, turn your work. Okay, each row will begin the same way. 
one half double crochet in the first space, then skip one. Next one will be one single crochet and one half double crochet, and then skip one, next one, single, half double. And repeat that all the way across. Last space will always be one half double crochet. And that's it. That's the pattern, guys, for the entire work. Uh, if you are working the receiving blanket that Maria is explaining, uh, you're going to repeat every row for the next 63 rows, okay? If you are making the crib size blanket, you will continue this process until you have reached 216 rows, okay? If in the middle of your work, you need to do a yarn change or add another skein of yarn. I wanna show you a trick that I used for this particular blanket and it made my work go super, super fast. So let's say you were crocheting, 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 working, 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 and you realize, oh no, my skein of yarn is running out. I'm running out of yarn. I'm gonna have to attach more yarn. What am I going to do? So then you would find your new skein of yarn that you want to attach to feed into. And I used the invisible knot, guys. It worked so fast that I didn't even skip a beat and I didn't have to weave in any ends. So win-win right there. I'm gonna show you what invisible knot that I used. If you want other options on how to attach yarn or weave in ends, check out my other video. Here's a little link right here that you can push on different techniques. Maybe you find one that you like better, okay? But I used this all throughout my blanket and it went so fast. So the yarn that was attached to my work will go this way, okay? The new skein of yarn I want to attach will go that way, okay? You'll butt them up against each other. Take these two, wrap both of them around both fingers, okay? Find the little tail that's sticking out and tuck that between the yarn, okay? Remove your fingers and pull tight. Makes a little knot right there. Okay, let's go to the other side right here. There's these two. Okay, wrap it around both fingers. Okay, take that yarn and tuck it underneath, underneath the two loops that were on your finger. Remove your fingers, pull, and it will form another knot on that side. Okay, so you got your two knots, right? Pull this yarn, pull this yarn, they come together, and that is a strong knot, guys. Strong knot. So then you just grab your scissors, scissors, cut the little Lucy tails off. Okay, I leave about that much on there. And grab this other Lucy tail, cut you off. Okay, and then I continue to crochet and won't skip a beat. So again, first space of my row is a half double crochet. There we go. Skip one, next one, one single crochet, one half double crochet, skip one, next one, single, half double, oops, See, there's, there's where I attach the two, join the two yarns together. Yarn over, pull through. Skip one, next one. Okay, one and a half double. And then I'll get, just go one more. So skip one, next one, single crochet, half double crochet. And when I go to look back at where I joined my yarn, it blends in, it's invisible. You can't even see the ends, it's done. And you don't have to weave in your ends in the end and it's secure and it's beautiful. So I wanted to just share that with you real quick. It's an option. If you don't like this option, that's cool. Um, check out some other options on how to join yarn 
and weave in your ends in that other video tutorial that I have for you to watch, okay? So when you are ready to end your blanket, the very, very last row that is going to be on your blanket is just a row where you're going to put one half double crochet in every single space. So I'll show you exactly what that will look like. Let me finish this row off and then I'll show you what the last row will look like. Okay, last space. One half double crochet, chain one, turn. Okay, if I were on my last row, this is the very last row, I'm just gonna put one half double crochet in each space all the way across to finish it off. Make it look nice and clean. Okay, there we go. So there'll be one half double crochet in every single space. That's last row. All right guys, okay. what did you think of this baby blanket? 